Welcome to our 16th short tips and tricks webinar on Tuesday, the 16th of March 2021. My name is Sebastian Bode and as always, I would like to welcome all participants from all over the world, as well as my colleagues Claudius and Dirk from our service office in Bautzen and from home office. As always, my colleagues are ready to answer your questions directly. But how does that work? No matter which device you use, you will find the possibilities to send us questions in the GoToWebinar tool, which we will answer then directly back to you. Important, of course, we do not communicate with you publicly, but only privately. We would stay after the webinar until we have answered all your questions. We will then only switch off the microphones, but will still be available via chat and question window. As usual, this webinar will also be recorded and uploaded on different platforms. These include our help page, help.orgadata.com, our YouTube and our Vimeo channel. As announced last time, today's topic is the logical CAD. And today I would like to start with the basics because that logical CAD offers so many possibilities we will not to be able to do everything today. Therefore, we will talk about that topic also in two weeks. So please make a note and register directly via our homepage for the next webinar. Just as you start in the day with Logical, we also started this webinar with the first page of Logical. Because from here, you can easily go to the CAD with this button here. Of course, you can also go in the CAD from many other area in Logical. Therefore, you find also the CAD here in the menu programs. If you are already looking in your Logical at this time or stumble across the fact that you are missing these options after this webinar, there's one simple reason. When you log into Logical, you have to activate the CAD module you see here. If this is not possible uh, while log in, this module is not available on your dongle. In that case, please contact us directly and we will be happy to help you. Now we want to start in the CAD and open it here with a click on a button. First question is, what do we find where here on the screen? The drawing functions are divided in here the left hand side and here in the upper area. The left hand area mainly contains functions such as creating lines and shapes, while the upper area contains yeah, functions like dimensioning and the editing functions. In addition, there are, of course, also many setting options in the CAD. We will go into these more detail later, but one thing should be said before. If you find the desired point in this lower bar here, simply click on them and you can change them. For example, here the dimension scale. Click on it, change it, and accept it. Now I would like to start drawing with you. In log logical CAD, always one function is activated until you select another function. Currently, it is the function drawing a line. You see it here that it is marked. Yeah, what do you do now? That is exactly what logical tells you here in the bottom bar. We have to determine the start point. And yeah, we do this very simple here with the mouse. To make it as easy as possible for you, Logical helps you through the operation of each function. And it does this by displaying the next steps here in this yellow box. So now we have to determine the next point. Therefore, you have two options. You select the endpoint or the next point with the mouse. 
This works really wonderfully if the endpoint is to be based in existing drawing elements and so on. Then you simply click on it, yeah, and you can lean back. But this does not really work so well without an empty drawing as you see it here. So you also have the option to define the line using the keyboard. And that with the length of the line and the angle. We start with the angle and you see it here, therefore we have to press I. Yeah, and then you simply enter, enter the angle you, you want. Here the following is important. Zero and 360 degree are horizontal to the right, 90 degree are upwards, and everything else yeah, then follows. We take 90 degree and accept that. Logical adjusts here the preview, and uh, yeah, this line is not yet drawn because we still want to change the length here. We can do this quite simple by entering the dimension. So this should be 300 millimeters long. And now, Logical changes also the preview here. And now, yeah, when we say, okay, we want to confirm the entry, we have to do this again with the enter key. And with this, we have the first very important lesson here. If you create objects in the Logical CAD with the input via the keyboard, then double confirmation is necessary. The first one confirms the input and the second one drops the object. With this, the first line is finished. Yeah, and we go on directly. So we want another line. Also here, the, the angle, take zero degree and the length 175 millimeters. So the preview is accepted with an enter. And again, the angle, 270 degree, and a length of 300 millimeters. We accept the input, and then we accept the preview. And last but not least, we make the same by mouse and click here on the first point of the first line. And with that, we finished, yeah, yeah, in rectangle here. With this exactly, you can create a free form with several lines in no time at all. If you have finished your form, it's very easy. One right click here. And yeah, one right click. And uh, you start again from the first click on with this, with this function. But the function is already activated here. For standard shapes, such uh, as this rectangle you see here. There are, of course, also functions that make the input much easier. Here you have several options to use these functions or to find these functions. At first, you can find them here. You see it here as an example. Or you go here directly in the drawing function and you find here the function rectangle. And the next point, we want to draw another rectangle. And the first point, Logical ask here for this, should be the corner of the first rectangle. And the good point is, Logical jumps directly to this point. But Logical not only captures corners like this, Logical captures also other points. And where you can set which one these are, that comes now. For this, we go here directly into the settings. You, you can set basic defaults such as line colors, line type, and so on and so on. Also important is the setting here of the, of the step size, which you can be set higher or lower depending on the accuracy. But we are now mainly interested in the user settings here. As on other occasions, I will now not go through all the setting options here, but I will go into a few of the most important ones. First, I would like to start here in the display part. Display the position at crosshair. Of course, there's also a coordination system in the logical CAD. 
I will show you exactly how you can use it a little bit later. If you want to use this option with a co coordination system more often, then it definitely makes sense to display the position permanently here on the cursor. Also, you may have stumbled upon the fact that my background is yeah, light, is white. Of course, this is also up to you. Here, you can decide if you want to choose a background should be light or yeah, dark. The next area is the area of the object snap. We now, with that, we now come exactly to the point I mentioned earlier the direct targeting of certain points. Here you can set up that individually for you. Here you can choose, for example, whether you want to have intersection points, center points, and so on and so on. Feel free to try out what you really need. If you are not satisfied with the distance from which the points are jumped to, simply set here in bigger or in smaller uh, value. Yeah, and then it should work as you need it. One last point here in the settings is if this yeah jump to the points do not work in your in your CAD, please make sure that the the option align at objects is activated. And with that, this should be enough with the settings, and we now finally want to draw in rectangle. So we take here the first point and open the rectangle, yeah, to the where we want to have it. As we have already learned with the line, the help here appears in short time without moving the mouse. Accordingly, there's also the possibility to find to define the dimension of the rectangle directly with the keyboard. So we enter in width of 100 here. Please do not be confused by the negative, yeah, by the negative uh, point here. This only describes the direction of the dimension from the insertion point. So to, to the right and up is positive, and to the left and down is negative. Yeah, just like in the coordination system. Now we enter in height of 330 and accept that. Also here. At first, only the preview, and with the second, we accept the preview and have here a fine rectangle. If you have read our invitation mail, you're probably already awaiting the possibilities of the wall connections. In order to be able to show these in detail next time, we first need a complete drawing, and that is exactly what we have started here to do. Of course, such a drawing also includes hatchings, and we will now take a look at them. There are various options for hatching, but since we are only dealing with simple rectangles here, we will use the simplest, the simplest option, this one, hatch rectangular area. Simply select here the filling you want to and set the distance between the line, like yeah, five millimeters. Here. We accept that, and then we can take our drawn rectangle. The first point, and we open this filling to the other point. And we do that again with another filling. Also here, this point, and we open this to that point. Everything with an easy left click on the mouse. Okay, now, it looks uh, nearly like a good wall connection, but the plaster is still missing on the inside and outside. Of course, we can draw also it, uh, the, the outline lines and then hatch the surface. But however, drawing plaster is one of the most frequent drawing tasks here and should therefore be as easy as possible. That is why there's a simple special function for this, and you can find this also here in the drawing functions. First of all, you have to define the plaster thickness. We take here 20 millimeters. And yeah, even if I repeat myself, 
logical guides you through the functions. You see here, determine the start point. Okay, we do that. And also here opens the, the yellow window. We have to put this the next point. And also here the next point. And if you are not right, as you see it here, it's no problem. One click on the right mouse and you can you go one step back. Now it is right. And yeah, we can close this function with an easy click on the escape button on the keyboard. And the first plaster is ready here. Now we still need the plaster on the interior side. Okay, okay. but the preview lines show us here directly that the plaster will be yeah, set on the wrong way into the wall. And also here, Logical helps immediately in the yellow window, it says us that we that with the S function it can be mirrored. And yeah, that is exactly what we do. Now it fits and we take the next point here. Nevertheless, plaster can be drawn directly in such a way that it fits here to the profile window later because the, the profile of this window is now missing here. On the one hand, as in other, uh, yeah, as in other many functions, it is possible to enter the dimension directly here by keyboard. I would like to take this point to show you the possibilities of the coordination system. In many CAD programs, this is the coordination, coordination system is fixed and working with it requires a lot of practice. In logical CAD, it is yeah, much easier because you can easily adjust the origin of the coordination system to your needs. And this is possible even while the plaster function is still active. So we know that we want to use a 75 millimeters thick profile, which is yeah, set down with the outer edge of the wall. The plaster therefore ends 75 millimeters before the outer edge. Therefore, take this point and press F9. And with that, the base point of the coordination system is now set here. And then we can work with the coordination, coordination system. Easily say, okay, we want to go 75 millimeters on the X axis to the right. We put that here in, press X and the dimension, enter it. Also here only a preview and enter again. Click on escape and you're ready. So, very easy to use the individual coordination system here in Logical. The important shortcut here is F9. And now it looks more and more like a very nice war connection. But when I now take a look at the clock, I see that the 20 minutes are almost over here. And of course, I want to give you a brief preview what comes next time. Yeah, and as, as I mentioned at the beginning, we will now continue directly, or we will then continue directly with the CAD. So be sure to tune in if you want to see how the wall connection continues to grow and is later applied directly in the element input. input. And with that, yeah, we come now to the usual hint. If you have further interest, you can simply take part in the following survey and we will get back to you soon. So let's rock the week together. Stay healthy. Until then, bye.